All right, so we're inside, and um, I'm gonna show you guys what's in the potatoes. Uh, Palm Dauphine, we wanna go that route. So here, I've got everything I need to make these potatoes. We're gonna take these guys, little baby uh, russets, boil them in water, put them through that potato ricer, and um, then mix some, some water and some flour and some butter together. Mix it with the riced potatoes and deep fry it. Um, these are really simple, literally this is everything. There's some eggs here. Uh, we're going to use those and I'll just go. So I've got a pound of potatoes boiling here that I'm going to rice uh, as before. Back here I have half a cup of water that I'm going to add butter to and then flour and uh, a little bit of salt to make the shoe dough. Um, so this is a setup to turn Again, a humble potato into a palm dauphine, a deep fried little bit. So to finish the shoe dough, I've got uh, water right here with butter and salt melted in. I dump the flour in all at once, just like that, and then stir vigorously with whatever spoon I uh, have available until it comes together. Yep, just like that. And back onto the heat. So we return um, the shoe dough to the heat source after we add the flour off. And then when it gets tacky like this and sticks together, like any dough really, we pull it, put it in a bowl, and we're going to add eggs. To finish the potatoes, um, I've mixed my shoe paste and my riced uh, boiled potatoes here and um, turned them into a dough kind of like gnocchi um, and all I'm going to do is take that and plop it into the deep fryer I like a wok with canola oil um, here I got a ball about I don't know the size of a quarter it was a sphere and a wok at about 330 degrees not 350 when we get these all the way done so you just simply take it and drop it in the oil it should bubble like that take about three to four minutes to get all the way done move it around a few times so how do you know when uh, the palms are done you know because uh, they'll be just golden brown just like this one is here I'm gonna pull this whoops I'm gonna pull this and uh, if I can fork drop it on the cutting board to slice stir these ones around you can see they're just getting golden that's how I know I'm in about, without a thermometer, how I know I'm in about the right temp um, I'm going to even turn that down a little bit, the flame let those ones cook a little bit better and then let's crack this one and look at the dough inside of it there it is, I hope you heard that so it should be, oh perfect it's <coughs> expanded with air pockets a little bit and um, it's almost like bread dough so I'm going to eat this one so you can hear it well, unreal